Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jay and today we are going to be continuing forward and defeating the second gym. I know that last time uh, it was a little rough because I couldn't catch a certain Pokemon, but speaking of Pokemon, let me kind of show you an update with our team. So we have Holy here, our route, and I gave it that name because holy Jesus, did that shit take a lot of time to catch. Like, it was unbelievable. We have our Falco at 20, our Mumble at 23, our Kaminari at 21, and we also have Scrambles. Um, I decided to name it Scrambles because, you know, I like my eggs scrambled. And yeah, um, remember how at the very beginning, our first ever adventure, we said that we're going to be uh, changing up the teams? Um, yeah, I have been thinking about it, and I do think that I want my team to remain... Um, I'll, not remain, but uh, be a little different compared to last time. Um, so yeah, you will definitely be seeing some changes in the future. But for now, let's take on the second gym. At my gym, don't get to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. Okay, so it seems like we have to find um, all the challengers. And yep, I remember. Yes, this foresty thing. They're hidden really cleverly, so in order to kind of make this easy for us, how about we put Falco up in front as he will be the one that's doing majority of juicy damage. And uh, if I remember, um, this is specific. Oh, okay, I think we got one right here. How did you know where to find me? Let's have a battle. Okay, so this is our very first battle. And she has two Pokemon, we're challenged by last Carolyn. And she sent out Cherubi. That is awesome. We're gonna go with Falco. We're just gonna go really quickly. Hopefully our Staravia will be able to one shot all these Pokemon because this is the only Pokemon I feel like we're gonna be needing. And it's a level 15. Great, our Falco is definitely going to um, be able to take this battle. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know that my episodes are not really quite on the long side. I kind of like it that way. Um, only because I just personally don't like to watch a whole, like, hours of just YouTube videos. I don't know. Like, since I'll, YouTube has, like, autoplay anyway, I feel like it's okay to have these videos a little short. Um, but yeah, for this video, all I'm going to really do is just defeat the second gym. Um... But yeah, I mean, if you guys want to see longer videos in the future, I could definitely accommodate to that. Just let me know in the comments down below and whatever you want, then I will do. Okay, so I think she said something about boulders. Um, <clears throat> oh, there's the next one. I'm really glad that this is a grass type gym uh, because, I don't know, it, it may inspire me to catch a grass type of my own. I'm not exactly sure which one um, yet, but I do. I hardly really have any grass types on my team, uh, only because I don't know, it's just grass types. I'm not a huge fan of grass types. Um, you know, they're just not the strongest in terms of defense or offense, in my opinion. Especially often, like I'm a huge attacker, like I love attacking, especially within video games. So I, I like Pokemon, or I like, you know, just typings that do a lot of damage. And Grass type to me is just not one of them. They do a lot of absorbing and healing, but you know, in terms of Grass type moves, they're just eh. so. But yeah, I mean, they do have some good, good Grass type moves, but I don't think a lot of, <clears throat> you know. I don't know, I, I just think like an ice beam is just more effective. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I mean, grass types are definitely not my least favorite um, type. I think I'm not really partial to bug either because I'm kind of like Misty. I'm not, I don't really like bugs, but there are some hella cool bug type Pokemon, I'll admit. Like, you know, X is not X is there, um, Scizor and like Heracross and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, okay, where is this other trainer? Um, I'm guessing the one of the trainers should be here, no? I 
feel like I see someone there. Oh, there you go. See, this is not even a game of hide and seek anymore because, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have played BDSP before. And, oh, look, a turtwig. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having a turtwig on my team, you know. In fact, I wouldn't really mind having all three of the stars. Um, you know, I feel like turtwig or Torterra is definitely one of the better grass types in this game. I know it's four times weak to ice, but still, that colossal mountain turtle really looks badass just to me and i wish it was shiny i don't know what a shiny looks but i know it doesn't have like autumn leaves like i wish it was like autumn colored you know that would have been really sick and you know obviously if her name's gonna be the best fire type we're gonna be able to catch in the game um you know i'm talking about the main storyline i'm not talking about when you go underground and all that good stuff so yeah, for the, I feel like the last one should be here. Yeah, I see that blonde head. All right, we got one more Pokemon battle to go. It seems like this one's gonna be a pretty short episode, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a really short episode, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I may continue to play the game. Um, yeah, I may continue to play the game if I feel like the episode is a little too short, uh, only because like this is this is kind of like the type of content where you have at the background noise type thing. It's not really something that I feel like a lot of people would watch you like intently. You know what I'm saying? So it's honestly whenever I you know watch playthroughs, I like to play a game of some sort as well, just hearing them talk about their days and all their strategies or something like that I don't know that's just something that I do and I feel like um, that's a good type of content <clears throat> you know I don't expect a lot of you guys to actually focus on what it is that I'm saying but just you know kind of enjoy the background TV noise but yeah let's go to challenge the second gym finally Jesus you kept me waiting I'm Eternal's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced that you'd find your way to me. My hunch is run out of the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Well, we indefinitely do have a winning aura because we have never lost a single battle and I doubt that we will. So let's get our three grass types out of the way. Cherubi or Cherubi. I don't know how to pronounce that, but... We're gonna be sweeping with our Falco. Look at that shit. Look at our bird. Staravia, a very proud bird, if I should say so myself. We're just gonna sweep with wing attack. You know, nothing too crazy here. Everything is gonna be. Oof! Damn. Super effective with one shot. Jesus. That is a weak ass grass type. Alright, Turtwig is the main attraction. Oh man, I wish I could just like steal that Turtwig from her, honestly. Like, I really want that Turtwig. But it's okay, we can maybe catch a Turtwig um, uh, on the post games. Or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in the post games when you can start encountering uh, other starter Pokemon in the underground. But for now, Rose Raid. I forgot. It's not the end yet, we know that. Rose Raid. I totally forgot about that Pokemon. Oh, Rose Ray looks pretty nice. Yeah, let's go. It's a level 22 and it's pretty fast, eh? Oh, dang. Okay. Wow, that Grass Knot did a lot of damage. That's why the bag is not effective. It's eating some berry. What is it? Like an orange berry? Citrus berry. Okay. I thought citrus was doing something. I thought citrus berries were used to like heal paralysis or something. I didn't know it heals. I thought that was only an aura berry thing. All right, use wing attack and let's get this rose raid out. Nice. All right, Falco grew to level 23. Wants to use whirlwind. We are not gonna be learning whirlwind, sorry. I don't know what it does, but um, Swagger. We're not gonna be using Swagger either. Whenever I catch a Star Ravia, I know exactly the kind of moves I want. Use Yawn. Scramble Morning Sun. Life to you know what? We don't need life to. We don't we don't have a lot of um, you know, double battles in this game, so yeah, let's just use Yawn. 
speaking of, I kind of want to like gain some levels of my other Pokemon too. Every time I play Pokemon, I usually like to have all my Pokemon at a higher level than the highest level of the Pokemon. And Jesus, that gym badge is looking kind of filthy. We received the Forest Badge from Gardenia. That's our second of the eight badges. With the Forest Badge, the Cut and Move Cut will be available from your Poketch. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you receive and trades will obey you up to level 30. I also got something else for you. These were a gift for me. We got stickers from Gardenia. Wonder what kind of stickers they are. And we also obtained the TM86. Noise. I wonder what that is. Oh, Grass Knot. It's one of my favorite moves. The heavier the opposing Pokemon, the more damage this move will cause. Alright, some pretty good moves there. Um, honestly, I feel like Falco doesn't even need to uh, be restored. Um, how about, let's see, does Falco, eh, honestly, it's gonna be fine. Um, I'm gonna put Scrambles up, and I kinda want to see what Grass Knot does. Just kind of seeing what kind of TMs we have. We don't really have a lot of TMs. Um, you know what? I want to teach Scrambles a move. I feel like Scramble doesn't really have any move. Um, it's just all this. So let's get rid of Charm and let's teach this thing Grass now. Scrambles need some moves, it needs some love. We can't have this Togekiss or Togepi be as useless as the one that Misty had for like three years. Okay, so, ooh, I feel like now we could go get her bike. We do need a bike. We need a bike kind of badly. Wait, why is the bike dude still not there? What? Okay, maybe we should go up here? Oh, oh, looks like we got Cynthia. Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Okay, hello Jay today. I'll sh be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Turner City, there is a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help your way. You obtain TM93s. What are they? Maybe cut? Hidden moves. Yep, it's cut. Remember, you can use the hidden move cut from your Pokesh in the field. It'll let you go places where previously inaccessible to you. That's impossible. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Well, thank you, Cynthia. Just coming out of nowhere. Well, since we got our cut, let's get our Pokesh out. And let's actually do indeed use cut. Nice, so let's try exploring this building. I feel like that's something we kind of have to do. Why, why did it cut that one? What? Wait, is there anything we could get here? Oh, let's cut here. Um, go down here. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Okay, we got another uh, TM, Thief. I'm not sure if Thief exactly does damage, but if I remember correctly, this is a move that steals the opponent's item. So that will maybe um, come as a help later. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing on the other side. Let's try going in the building. <clears throat> oh wow, there's a lot of Team Galactic guys. Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? You're not? Then kindly get off our property. Do we have uh, do we have to bring the pain like we did with the cycling shop? Oh, okay, so it looks like this is where we're going to be rescuing the bike dude. So um yeah, let's Okay, Holy is not really that impressive a Pokemon, so let's send out scrambles and our mumble. Okay, so it looks like we are doing a little bit more than just tackling on the second like, gym. We are going to face these guys and after this battle any other team galactic grunt that we face i'll probably just skip but just for the first battle since it's a double special battle and it's the first time scrambles is coming out well, let's make an exception now all right let's make wow i didn't know it was effective to both but um let's get rid of the zubat first because i feel like wormpool is not gonna do anything so mobile use pack nice 
Zubat use Absorb. Good thing he absorbed my uh, Primplup because I don't want my Scrambles to be unhappy. Come on, use Ancient Power. Yes, there you go. It's gonna affect both, right? Or does it only do one? It only does one, really? Rock Slide is the one that could uh, affect both Pokemon at once. Yeah. That's definitely it. Our right, Scrambles is getting levels. Wormple use Tackle. Nice, keep attacking my penguin, my girthy penguins. Alright, that Glamia is gonna give me some trouble. Uh, let's continue to use... Um, yeah, let's just keep on attacking one Pokemon at a time. I feel like Wormful is not really gonna be doing much anyway. That Glamio has been taken care of, and luckily our Scrambles is going to kill that Wormful. Hopefully, come on. Please, Togepi, kill that Wurmple. Yes, nice. Let's go. Our scrambles. This is our first time battling, but it's taking out the team. Easy. Cascoon. All right, we should be able to one shot this. Like we're like eleven levels above this. And the cool thing about uh, doubles battles is that even though I don't directly say I want to attack that Pokemon, um, it's still. Attacks one of her Pokemon's left, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> it's super effective. Cascoon fainted. Nice. That is pretty good. I feel like I got metal with. Yep, you definitely did. All right, hopefully this will not take too long. But let's go upstairs. Our scrambles is doing great. Okay, I feel like we could just skip all these guys. Wait, what happens if I talk to one of them? Yeah, nothing happens, so we'll just skip them. <clears throat> and we can't really skip this one, so let's go and battle. Take a lot longer than I thought. Okay, um, yeah, we'll take on the scientists as well. We made quick work of that scientist, and look well, what we have here. What is this? What is with this Team Galactic? Why do they take our Pokemon? Why do they? What are they trying to accomplish? That's a good question. Let's see. Eh? Did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to? You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. All right. Looks like we're challenged by who? Oh, Commander Jupiter. Nice. Okay. Another Zubat, bro. Enough of the Zubat. We're gonna be sending out our. Ooh, we're sending out Scrambles? Okay. Yeah, we need to switch that out because Scrambles ran out of Ancient Power. Yeah, we have no more Ancient Power, so we're gonna be sending out our Mumble instead. Uh, yeah. I just want Mumbles to gain levels. Um, our Kaminari, yeah, it's. I don't wanna use them right now. Use Supersonic. No. Okay, maybe we do need Kaminari. But you know, let's let's just try one bubble beam. One bubble beam. I believe in our mumble. Nice, bro. Every time this man don't hit himself. Poison Fang. Oof, man. Only if we had Empoleon. How insolent. Take a bite of this, child. Okay, bite of what? Alright, come on, one more time, please. Nice, bro. I feel like our Primple is just immune to being confused. He just won't hit himself. It's definitely uh, our MVP. Skunk Tank. Ooh, that's gonna be a it's gonna be a nasty one. Too bad we don't have any ground types. Let's just stick with our Mumble. We we'll just keep spamming Bubble Beam. Uh, yeah. Just keep bubble beaming. Our right, poison gas, that is not good. That's gonna give us poison. 
Yeah, 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 and we're still confused. Okay, now, okay, well, I mean, it's fine. Ooh, that poison damage is not going to be so pretty, though. <sighs> Alright, let's just do one bubble beam and then we'll switch out. Snarl? What's Snarl? What is that? Is that dark type move? Special attack fell? Ah, oh, no! Alright, we probably need to switch out our Pokemon. Dang, that did nothing! Hey, what? No, we're not battling. We need to switch out. Let's send out... Um, let's send out Kaminari. Yeah, why not? I feel like Kaminari could make short work of this gunk thing. Let's just hope that the AI did not predict our switch and use poison gas or something. Just use Snarl. Please use Snarl. Pretty sure Snarl is a physical type move, so good thing we have Intimidate. Nice! We Gucci. Okay, so maybe it's not um, a dark type move. I don't know, I forgot. Alright, let's use Spark. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice, we got a paralysis heal. Oh no, what kind of berry is that? Is that a citrus berry? Nice, okay. Okay, so it looks like the citrus berry is a healing berry. I didn't know that. Um, flamethrower? This fuck knows flamethrower? Holy, good thing we didn't get burned. Just keep sparking. I could have named it Sparky. Oh, dude, I had more one HP. Please don't get burned. Nice. Sorry, right, we killed that skunk tank. Jesus, that skunk tank was a menace. It's like aftermath. What? The, what is aftermath, bruh? No, we're coming, Dory. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Wow, we got a booty load of XP. We defeated Commander Jupiter, losing to some child, being careless cost me too much. Being careless, what do you mean? You're trying your very best. You're flaming that thrower. Why well, aren't you tough? It's okay though, our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. And Mars has collected energy from the Valley Works. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactus affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back. It's all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic, they say Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough for now. Cruise by the cycle shop, okay? We indeed will cruise by the cycle shop. We need ourselves a bike, bro. Like, we can't run everywhere. We're not Captain America, and even he didn't run everywhere. He got into a Corvette with Natasha. So we're gonna be needing a ride. We're gonna be needing a Corvette of our own. Too bad we can't drive cars in this game. We, yes, we need Cut to get out of here. But do you cut that? Mm. All right, so let's go to the bike shop real quick and choose our bike. All right, let's talk with this guy. Thanks for rescuing me, I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show you my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. Okay, so we're getting ourselves a bike. Wait, what? Why are we going out? Okay, so we gotta choose a color. Mm, okay, now this is gonna be a tough one. I feel like I always go red. I don't think, I maybe I've chosen a blue a couple times, but since this, this is brilliant diamond and Diog is blue, let's go with the blue. That blue does look pretty sexy. Yeah, let's go with the blue. Marvelous, you've chosen a dignified blue. It almost seems like you can see bubbles of squirrel reflected on it. It's perfect for you. Well, thank you. We have obtained a bike. And also our um, Pokemon color, our Piplup was blue too, so might as well. So yeah, we got ourselves a bike. Nice montage, bike riding. All right. Let's register our bike real quick. Uh, where is it? But right here is our bicycle. So let's register on the top because this is going to be our top choice. And yeah, this is our slowest setting. That's our faster setting. So it seems like we only have two settings. 
Alright, let's get off our bike. How do you get off your bike? Uh, how do you get off your bike? Wait, how do you get off your bike? What? Like, you press Y? No, you don't press Y. What on earth do you do to get off your bike? Man, it's gonna... Maybe B? Oh, wait, what? How do I get off my bike? Uh... Oh... This? No? Wait, I'm so confused. How do you get off this bike? I thought... Do I have to do it manually? I th oh, maybe you have to use this. Is there something for a bike that we could use? No. Okay, well, I am completely lost. I'll figure out how to do that next time. But for now, um, we... Oh, okay, I don't mean to go in there. But yeah, for, for now, we are done with this episode. I appreciate you guys for watching. And yeah, next time, we'll head on over to the next city. All right, goodbye.